Okay, pretty sure we're recording. I'm here with my bottle of ice because it's still very hot. Um, friend is also here, and we are going to watch an episode of One Step Beyond. So we're moving through the seasons, and I believe we're up to episode four. I want to say four, but I'm not positive anymore. Uh, and I think it's titled The Dark Room. The way I have to set this particular episode up, I can't look at the title because uh, I can't rescreen. It's complicated. Don't worry about it. Um, friend's birthday is coming up next week, so I am working on crocheting them a little top hat. If you're wondering what I'm working on during this video. And we're going to jump right into it. It's next Wednesday that's friend's birthday, by the way. He'll be two. This is the scene of the crime. This house, somewhere in France. A perfectly normal, attractive American girl. Lived a lifetime. In 48 hours. If old houses could only talk, what stories they could tell. Well, this ancient dwelling has a voice, a voice that Rita Wallace will soon hear quite distinctly. This is not very modern. It's quite old, but very comfortable. And that, mademoiselle, is the dining room, the living room, the library, anything that you want. <laughs> What's this? Oh, that's a storeroom now. Many years ago, that used to be the cool room. We used to keep the butter, eggs, milk, all sorts of things like that in there. I could use it for a dark room. It's right near the sink. <laughs> the plumbing is quite old. It still goes. <laughs> and that is Madame Rocamier. Okay, lovely. Oh, oh mademoiselle. must have caught a flu bug or something. I'm awfully sorry to say, but uh, I think you have fever. I'll be all right. I've got a very good physician. I better call him for you. Oh, I'll be fine. Ooh. not very impressive, but it's the only house that I have. Oh, it's oh of course, after the chateau, it's quite grand, but expensive. No, this is fine. I'll take it. It'll do rotten to look any farther anyhow. And so she's looking to buy a house, but is she... When you buy a house like this, do you buy it with the furniture or is it just like they're showing what it would look like with furniture? I'm curious because I've never bought a house, so I don't know. But it appears that she's buying it fully furnished, which seems like it would be expensive. She must have a lot of money. I think you better see the doctor. My doctor is not very expensive. No, really, I'll be all right. I'll get some headache pills when I go out. Who's this? Oh, that is Tante Clara. <laughs> Mademoiselle, did I understand you to say that you are uh, with an American magazine? Yes, I'm a staff photographer. Oh, then you are here on uh, your vacation, no? No, uh, it's an assignment I wanted to do for a long time, to be called the face of France. Uh, the collective face, you see, caught in various individuals who all together will express the nature, the spirit of the country, if I'm lucky. 
Oh, it must be very, very interesting. You know what? What? You could help make it interesting. How? Well, the pictures can be only as good as the models. If you know anyone whose face is interesting, expressing character, good or bad, I'd be very grateful if you could send him over. I'll pay, naturally. I think I'm going to look for somebody like that. Oh, good. Oh, that's wonderful. Oh, it is a very good bed, and I think you're going to sleep very good. <laughs> if you need anything, call me. I'll be downstairs. Thank huh? you, madam. <laughs> Not a not degree, did It's a solid block vice. And it's not 100 degrees anymore, thank God. So it's not melting extremely fast. Backyard is a nightmare if you're trying to crochet in a dim light. She's a very good judge. Won't you sit down? You have quite a wonderful face, you know. Have you ever had your picture taken before? Some time ago. Oh, this is going to be just swell. Oh, where is my head? I left my camera and all my equipment in the car. Would you, you be so kind as to help me? S'il vous plaît. I hate to miss any of this light. It's uh, all in the car, a whole lot of stuff. Oh, such eyes. This is going to be marvelous. That's nice. Look, oh, good. Lovely. I don't understand. Now, you just do whatever you feel like doing. Make yourself comfortable. I don't understand what she's doing exactly. I know she said she works for a magazine or newspaper and she's taking pictures. Um, but I'm, I'm extremely confused what's special about this house or this person. I mean, there's nothing special about this person. She's just asked the real estate agent to find her a unique looking human who would be willing to have his picture taken. But I don't get... Like, you've come to France and bought a fully furnished house to take pictures. Why? <laughs> what, what are we trying to establish here? I feel like moving around, that's fine. You don't have to hold still. What are you doing? I'm taking your picture. You're not familiar with this camera? No. No, I'm not. They've had good ones for, all oh, 25 years, I suppose. Though the film and developers have improved a great deal recently. A good one. They're very good for fast work and changing light. Oh, Mr. Good. Turn, is that good? Wonderful. Now then, look a little to your right. As close to the sun as you can without it hurting your eyes. It doesn't hurt. Oh, that's wonderful. Just, just one more. 
Oh, that's wonderful. Now, if you have time, I'd like to get some light set up. Oh. I don't know if I'll be able to do it after all. I'm awfully sorry. I feel just, just awful. Everything goes in and out of focus. Almost like a bad camera. I think she's having a brain aneurysm or something, but why is this dude making me think Dracula? I mean, it isn't the camera. It's, it's me. What a shame. Could you come back tomorrow night? Yes, I think I can do it again since I have this time. Oh, oh good. I'd like to get some very careful shots. He's gone already. I'm really not up to it tonight. See a ghost? Monsieur? <laughs> Sorry, I know I keep pausing, but... I was saying this in the last video, how these old shows like this, you'll go into houses and there's just stuff, like it's going into an antique shop. And this is an example of that. There's just stuff everywhere, which is kind of why I was asking if she was buying this place furnished, because it's just like random stuff. Like there's a little porcelain statuette right there. Why? What is it? sending me that delightful old gentleman last night. The one with the, you know, the black hair and a sweet face. Oh, I'm sorry, but I send no one. Although I intend to. Well, that's odd. I was sure you had. He just sort of appeared. He must have thought I was crazy. Well, who was he then? Maybe uh, someone that worked for a previous tenant, and he came to see if you needed anyone while he saw you moving in. Yes, that makes sense. Anyway, he's coming back tonight. He's a wonderful model. Merci, oh. merci. Thank you. He didn't say much. Did he even say that she sent him? It was just kind of there. I think he's a ghost. I bet when she develops this picture, he's not going to be there. And then she's going to die of a brain aneurysm. And they're going to be like, why did she take pictures of this house without anybody in it? Why did she tell people there was somebody in these pictures? Forgive me, mademoiselle. I'm sorry. Oh, no, you, you forgive me. I, I just don't feel very well, and I'm just not myself today. Has mademoiselle's ailment uh, improved? A little, but I'm afraid my disposition hasn't. It was awfully nice of you to come back this evening. 
Would you like a cup of tea? No, thank you. Well, then shall we get started? Good. Uh, would you sit here? Um, by the way, how did you happen to come here last evening? I thought Madame Morel had sent you, but she said no. Oh, I just came. I've been here before. Oh, uh, that's what she thought. Oh, by the way, I pay for the posing. No, no. No pay is necessary. But of course I wouldn't expect you to do it for nothing. Do the lights bother your eyes? No, I don't mind. Good. So, and I'm using a. How is she not suspicious? or bothered at all that this man showed up the night before. Nobody sent him. Nobody knows who he is. Nobody, you know, he's just there. And now the second night, she's aware that nobody has sent him, and he's still just there, and she's like, okay, <laughs> I'm fine with this. You seem perfectly reasonable. <laughs> Slower shutter than yesterday, so I'll have to ask you to hold still when I make each shot. Now, could you lean back just a little? There, yeah, that's good. Good. Would you look a little to your right? Good. Just a little down. Good. Now, um, straighten up just a bit. Good. Good. Let's turn your whole body. That's good. Joys of living next to a dumpster. Oh, that's wonderful. You're not a professional by any chance. A professional model? Mm -hmm. All right. Now, now then, if you're quite comfortable, I'd like for you to think back. Remember something a little sad, something that happened that made you unhappy, perhaps, something you did, perhaps, that you regret. Just continue to sit that way. That's good. Fine. He's thinking about what he's coming to do. Keep on that way, thinking about it. Nobody has so sent him. He's just what there. We call a mood picture. He is totally about to kill her. Monsieur, soften your face. Just that's a little too much, Monsieur. Monsieur, just relax now. That's fine. Just. Just relax, monsieur. That's good. You, you, you can move now. No, nah, he's in serial killer mode. I expect that's all we'll have to take today. Where have you been, Cecile? Cecile? What do you mean? You know what I mean, you filthy, cheap, rotten shen! I, I think you'd better go now. So you can meet him. Who is he now, Cecil? Who? The same one or you one, Cecil? You're a Tell me, Cecil. Please, you're hiding. Go away. I told you how to do that, Cecil. Go away. I want you, Cecil. I want you. I want you. I want you. Cecil. Wait on that random crazy people just hang out with you.
as a Wallace. The gendarme searched the entire house with you. True? And he found no one. He also searched the entire neighborhood. Is that not so? You have found no one who resembles him? No one. It is a very odd story. I cannot imagine who it might have been. You don't believe me? It is odd. Very odd. Don't you agree? Mademoiselle, here's some hot coffee for you. Oh, thank you. Oh, how thoughtful you are. Tell me, Mademoiselle, what was the address of that house again? 344 Avenue Bonaparte. We have covered everyone who have a record of in this district, mademoiselle. Of course, he could be from somewhere else. Hey, Mazak? It could be almost anybody. The teacher Mazak knows everyone around here. He has a photographic memory. Now, if you could be a little more explicit. Oh, how stupid I am. I have dozens of photographs of him. You still have them? Of course. I could develop them in a few minutes. If somebody could go back with me, I, I can't go back there alone. I would be very happy to take Mademoiselle home. No, Mazak, you're going off duty. Brinelle will... No, 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 no. It's on my way. Mademoiselle, if you please. Merci. It's over there. I know. Do you mind if I smoke my pipe? Oh, not at all. Nice of you to come with me. If you're off duty, though, you should have gone home. Well, it's all right. I wanted to see the pictures. Tell me, how did the man first get in touch with you? Well, he didn't get in touch with me. He, he just was there. He didn't knock. Did it not seem uh, peculiar? That's what I'm saying. Did it not disturb you? Well, yes, but you see, he had such a wonderful face. This is a random fashion accessory question, but you see these, when she comes around again, you'll see these ball things on the end of her coat. What are those for? <laughs> is there a reason for them? I've often wondered, like, the little balls on the back of uh, tennis socks. What are those for? What's the point of them? It's just a fashion choice. I bet nothing's going to come up in those pictures. Because he was a ghost. Or a vampire. I mean, he could have just been a random crazy guy. Sorry, I was browsing your antique shop. Now, perhaps the inspector won't think I'm just a an hysterical woman. Ah, uh, he does not. Uh... Oh, yes, he does. gonna die but he was here he was he was right here I he tried have... to kill me no, i'm not imagining it he tried to kill me you have to believe me you have to mademoiselle do you please, think i'm crazy please do not excite yourself i i do believe you you believe he was here i believe you are telling me the truth mademoiselle I want you to come with me on a short trip. Where? For what? I want to show you something. 
Oh, I, I promise no harm will come to you. For what? Where? What's it about? I must ask you to come with me without telling you what I expect. Because I don't expect it. But we must find out. Well, the non-ghost answer is Mademoiselle, she has please. a brain bleed and she's please, hallucinating. Mademoiselle. And this dude is just part of her brain dying. But they're at a cemetery, so I'm assuming this guy's going to be a ghost. But again, with this series, all of these uh, stories are meant to be based in reality and based in truth. So the real question is, do you believe in ghosts? Jean Gabot. Died 1926. Executed for killing his young wife. The very same house. The very same room. What was her name? Cecil. Sometimes, the restless ones even revisit the scene of the crime, causing much havoc among the living thereby. What do you suppose that Rita Wallace will tell her grandchildren one day about Monsieur Jean Gabot? Will she try to explain it at all? Well, that I would like to hear, because I can't explain it. But it happened just the same. So did next week's adventure into the world of the unknown. Yeah, we're not going to be doing a preview of next week's episode because so far the previews have not actually been about the next episode. So they're kind of worthless to me at this point. Um, do y'all believe in ghosts? Start there. It's also it's reminding me of the Buffy the Vampire Slayer episode with the uh, two ghost high school students just continuously killing each other over and over again. But nobody could see them. Just keeps happening. That's a nightmare, actually. That that idea of the afterlife, of your afterlife just being you doing the most horrible thing you've ever done repeatedly. And there's no way to even like kill yourself to get out of it. Because you're already dead. That would suck. 